time for the best segment in all sports. Last night, in a Twitter Spaces group, <laughs> a select group of experts, analysts, and people who subscribe to the appeal to authority fallacy. <laughs> Drop that right on their heads at 1.30 in the morning. They weren't ready wise. <laughs> Nobody was. <laughs> Fought and toiled and burned the midnight oil to deliver the best segment in all of sports media. Without further ado, it's time for Nick's Tears. Thank you so much, Wilds. Busy night. I had to be an early committee meeting, then back-to-back -back basketball games, then this, then I'm grinding Lakers nuggets to film. Yeah. I'm running on fumes. But playoff edition of Tears, let's go. See it. Limping to the finish line. Oh, first off the tears. Pardon me. See, I'm out of it. Mm -hmm. we, it's, we eliminated. See, the new one is the Warriors. And then, of course, soon to be eliminated. Sorry, but Hawks, Bulls. One will be tonight. The other will be on Friday. Now, bottom of the tears. Limping to the finish. I sack down. That's one of the best. I, it was said on the broadcast, and I agree with it. I think it's the best win for that franchise since C-Webb's heyday. I really do. Because of what it meant to eliminate the Warriors. They don't have a lot of great moments other than that in last year's have Warriors Have they won series. a series since? No. Yeah, and and so, last yeah, year's I, Warriors I series, they won, obviously, you could say game six in right, Golden State. Yeah. But I think it was. But they, they missed Malik Monk. I think they can win on Friday. But then OKC is going to wax them. And obviously, the Pelicans, Ingram's not right. Zion now out. So, let the finish line. Got to win a round. So, this one's tricky. So, the Knicks, to their credit, Fought for the two seed, mm -hmm. but as you know, I think wise people say, be careful what you wish for. It might not work out. The Pacers get their arch rival still fighting over the basketball, injured Milwaukee Bucks, and then the the Cavs threw a game because they wanted Orlando. So the Cavs better win, and Orlando better be angry that they did it, so they got him. So I don't know if any of these teams, except for Cavs or Orlando, are going to win a round, but you got to feel like you've got to. Bad matchup, bad luck. So the bad matchup for Milwaukee is the Pacers, particularly without Giannis, but they have not been able to guard them all year. For the Clippers, I understand they won the previous two series against Luka, but Luka was phenomenal at age 20 and 21 in those series. Now he has Kyrie alongside. The bad luck is obvious. The best player on both of these teams, we don't know when he's going to be available. The Giannis' injury, at least there's some reporting on. Kawhi's injury, the only reporting has come from across the table and across the country. <laughs> and so it I, wasn't good. And it wasn't good. So bad matchup, bad luck. Can't be dismissed. So this is Minnesota and Miami. The, I would like to see, and I believe Anthony Edwards is going to be a playoff performer. Mm -hmm. There will be a playoff Edwards, similar to playoff Jimmy, where his game goes up a level. He strikes me as that type of player. And you can't dismiss what the Timberwolves did this regular season. Alive for the one seed going into the final two games of the year despite Carl Anthony Towns going down. And you can't dismiss what the Miami Heat have done over the last five years. So while I'm not a full-blown believer in either one of these teams this season, you cannot dismiss them. Wildly disrespected. I have heard this team called as of yesterday, quote, the worst one seed in NBA history. Wow. We have heard multiple wow. people advocate that teams should Get in a do or die game just to have the, the pleasure of facing them. <laughs> Tough the, takes. The, Tough takes. Um, nobody argued on this show that of all the teams that can beat Denver, well, what about the one team that would have home court and beat them three out of four? We all pick different teams. And shit, when Brew and I were debating MVP, it was a Luka Jokic conversation. We left out Shea. So I feel for your OKC. It does feel like you've been disrespected. You have a legitimate chip on your shoulder. Next, quietly lurking. So Phoenix and Philly. Phoenix loves this matchup. This They, they went from, yeah. oh my God, the toughest 10-game stretch to end the season ever. They got through it, avoided the play-in, and they are thrilled that they have Minnesota in round one. Philly, on the other hand, it's they're 31 and 8 with Embiid, a 63 and a half win pace. Embiid hasn't looked right, but is still averaging 30 a night. Mm -hmm. Maxi getting healthier. They are there is a path for both of these teams to show up not just in round two, but potentially in the conference finals, potentially the NBA finals. Be honest, you can see it too. Luke and LeBron, <laughs> AD and Kyrie. 
that's three champions, LeBron and two guys who won a championship alongside him, and Luka, who LeBron a couple years ago called his favorite young player, the guy he tried to be signed to his sneaker line, but, you know, Jordan stole him from him. Uh, ah. And there is, there is an element of poetry if that ends up being our Western Conference Finals. Yeah, indeed, there the, will be. There, the, and I will say this, while I don't think that side of the table is any faith of the Lakers getting out of round one, I think that side of the table, particularly that little quadrant of the table, is terrified about what the Mavs can do against the Clippers and then also against the Thunder, potentially. Sorry, we're disrespecting them again in round two. Next, Wimby's first legacy moment. Mm. Did he alter the path for the defending champs in a Take. way that Jokic's leg, not legacy takes a hit, but goes down a different yeah, path? Were take. those 17 straight mm -hmm. points that prevented the Nuggets from being the one seed in game 81? And now the Nuggets have probably the toughest round one matchup they could have. Then in round two, if they get through, who would they have? Minnesota, who played them tough last year. Or Phoenix, who played them tough in the regular season this year, beat them twice after the All Star break and in the playoffs last year, only to have the opportunity to get to a Western Conference Finals potentially exhausted. So, did Wimby already have his long, giant fingerprints on who hoists mm, the Larry O'Brien? And last but not least, everything breaking right. If you're Boston, Philly's MVP candidate is limping, Milwaukee's MVP candidate is out. Golden State, who's beaten you before and maybe has your number mentally a bit. You know, they didn't make the tournament. Denver's path is so much harder than yours. You are a minus 200 favorite to make the finals. Everything is broken right for the Boston Celtics. We'll see if tonight continues with the 7-8 game. That, Chris Broussard, for the committee's playoff team. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Um, look, I've never been known as a Knicks fan. Mm -hmm. Me? Me. No. I've never been known as oh, a Knicks fan. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> oh, go ahead. oh. <laughs> go ahead. Knicks fan or a Knicks fan. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> but when I see blatant disrespect, I got to speak up. We got to give the Knicks a little respect. Yeah. All right? And, and I do think this is the year that heat culture folds, plummets. All right? So I'm switching the Knicks and the heat. That's fair. Okay. All right? The Knicks, we all know what Jalen Brunson has done. You would even have him on your MVP back. Yes. And he's got a little, I'm not going to call him Jimmy Buckets, right? But he's been a playoff performer. Yeah. No like, doubt. I don't see him folding at I don't all. Either. And Julius Randle, yeah, okay, he's out, but he has not been good in the playoffs. That's true. They're, Nick, with OG Anunobi, I don't know why. All right, I know he's a very nice defender and plus, all that. Plus one. How in the world he has had such an impact is beyond me, but he has. They are 20 and 3 when OG Anunobi plays. And look at the, the list of victims Minnesota, Denver, Miami, Sacramento, Milwaukee, Boston. I mean, when OG's there, they ball out. All right. Um, they're one of only four teams. Thank you, Ramsey, our, our resident Knicks fan, yeah. for this one. One of only four teams in the top 10 in offensive and defensive rating. The other three pretty good. Denver, OKC, and Boston. Mm -hmm. And the East, as you said, Philly, I mean, I hate to say it because, I, gosh, we hope it doesn't happen. Joel Embiid's a bump away from sure. <laughs> being either out or 60% of himself. Mm -hmm. I mean, and then Milwaukee, we know that's a mess. So I, I got to give the Knicks okay. a little respect and move them the, the, You make a great point, and I don't want to – Anger Ramsey, one of my favorite uh, teammates on the show. Uh, but I have a quick question for you. If we're here tomorrow and Philly is one tonight and we do our picks for Knicks Sixers, who you got? Uh, well, look, I'm going by the tier. I, no, might, I, I, I might have Philly. Okay, just like, right, but you well, got Lakers over the, Denver no, and you I got understand. Denver here. No, so, I, you know, I, I get it's that. allowed. Just, that, it is allowed. I'm right. just saying. I, the, I think about it the, tonight. But. <laughs> so I, that's what, the reason I have the Knicks where they are is because I do not think they're going to be expected by the media at large to beat Philly. And I think that's I the I might go Philly. I might yeah. shock you. Okay. All right, we'll see. Go ahead, Love. I'm going to move the Wolves up over the Suns or maybe flop the Wolves in the Suns. Now I know what you're saying. Wilds, the Suns beat the Wolves 
three times this year. Three and zero. Use that as a piece of evidence as to why well, a team's going to just saying, the team. Even though <laughs> Denver's beaten the Lakers eight times in a row, I have to sit here and listen to why everything could be different if everything that did happen didn't happen. So I'll do that. <laughs> Game one this year, what happened? The Sun shot 60% from the field. KD had 31 points on 15 shots. Is that going to happen again? Maybe not. Game two they win. Guess how many points the Wolves scored? 87. That's not I remember that game again. Game three was the other day. Uh, Beal played one of the best games we've seen him play in years. Goes six for six from three. And also, Anthony Edwards saw something he didn't like about the refs that it's going to change come playoff time. Take a listen. Yeah, it's the refs' fault. So there you go. Anthony Edwards is going to play better because the refs aren't going to. So, oh, the playoff refs don't call anything that was holding his game back. The, well, I don't know how much that's going to help one team versus the other, but your original points, which were a few aberrant things happened, which doesn't undercut that the rightful team won those games, but you don't know if it necessarily is predictive to who's going to win the next know. games. Well, I, you know what? If it was I eight. like that analysis. It was three, but if it was eight in a row, I'd have a hard time. The, no, going. okay. All right, I got it. And then in 2021. Uh, no, <laughs> you brought up 2021. I brought up 2020 last Yeah, time exactly. Not me, my friend. Uh, I think that's going to be a great series. Seven games. I think that's a seven game that's series. That's awesome series. I think that my is a great my, series. My, my, my. Wait till you see game seven, Devin Booker. Woo. Oh, <laughs> I've never seen him. <laughs> it's crazy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.